Hey there, fourth grade scientists. It's Mr. Height, your favorite scientist, coming to you live from the moon. And I remember you studied about the moon earlier. Yes, very cool. Um, and then Harry, hi guys, you're on Earth right there. Somewhere on Earth, but hello. And um, I'm here on the moon. I have a question for you talking about sound. Uh, would you hear sound on the moon? Like if you're, obviously I don't have my uh, headgear on, so it might be a little difficult to breathe because there's no air on the moon, no atmosphere, no wind. Would you be able to hear? Or if there was a moon rock and I started hammering on the moon rock to break it, would you hear that? Would you be able to hear it? So why don't you guys talk about that? Would you be able to hear sound on the moon if you were just talking to somebody or doing something outside on the moon surface trying to make some noise would you even be able to hear it hmm. very interesting so today we're going to work through two stations and very easy materials so hopefully you're able to do it in stations um, but i'm going to kind of go through it so the first station is the There it is, the ruler snap station one. And basically you're gonna have a ruler. Plastic ones work the best. Um, they're a little bit more flexible and durable. So if you have a plastic ruler, that's all you need for this first station. So it says to place the rule on the edge of the desk or table. So the zero end is hanging off the table. So I want the zero off the table and I'm going to go ahead and go to my table so you can see that and I'll stay on the moon while we're doing that cool so you should be able to see the end of my table and here is here's the zero mark here so I want that off the table and it says to uh, line up the edge of the table desk at the 23 centimeter mark which is right here that's 23 centimeters okay one student will hold the part of the ruler that's resting on the table press down on the part hard so the ruler does not move i don't have two people but i think i can handle that um, with one hand myself another student will push down or pull up on the part of the ruler that is hanging off and once you do that you want to record your observations you can do that in your science notebook or um, did create a chart for you guys that you can um, record all your observations in for this so you're going to record your observations what did you hear did sound create motion or make change what caused the sound and then also observe how fast the ruler was moving was the ruler moving up and down or back and forth so obviously you want to listen for the sound, but also the movement of the ruler um, as we do this. So I'll, I'll go ahead and um, pluck that a few times. So here we go. So go ahead and write down your observations. What did you hear? What did you see um, with our ruler at the 23 centimeter mark? So go ahead and write down your observations. You can pause the video. Now it says to go ahead and slide the ruler back. So we're gonna put, hold this here and go to the 16 centimeter mark. So what am I doing to this part of the ruler? Am I making it longer or shorter? Do you think that'll change the sound or and the motion of the ruler when I pluck it by making this part shorter? This part is on the table. So now I'm down to 16 centimeters. Do you think it'll change? What do you think? Make a prediction. And again, you're going to make your observations. So you're going to write down everything that you things that you hear and also that you see. So here we go. Hmm. Cool. 
go ahead and pause and make some observations. Did you hear? What did you see? And then finally, I'm going to move it to the 10 centimeter mark. So based on the last two, what do you expect to hear and what do you expect to see now that this is a little shorter now it's at the 10 centimeter mark? So what do you think is going to happen? What do you expect? Let's find out. Let me hold this down really good. Whoa. Very cool. Go ahead and write down your observations, what you heard, what you saw. Um, give you a couple, a uh, minute to do that. Go ahead and pause if you want to do that. So at the end there it says record your observations. Was the, was the motion slower or faster? Was the pitch higher or lower? not louder or softer. So you got to be careful with pitch because there's pitch and then there's volume. What's the difference between pitch and volume? Hmm. Did sounds change as part of the ruler hanging off the tail became shorter? Why do you think there was a change? Do you see any patterns between the length of the ruler hanging off the table and the, the sound, high or low? So what would you predict? Let's say I made this even shorter. Let's say I made, went down to like six centimeters what do you think the sound would be like higher lower um what about the movement of the ruler so what do you think of course i'm going to do it because you know i have to <laughs> wow interesting i know that's not on the station, but you can go ahead and just talk about some of the observations. How did that compare to the other three? Very, very cool. Write down your observations. Coming back to the moon. So that was station one. A lot of fun. Just be careful. The thing is, you know, we just want to we want to play and everything, but we definitely got to write down, take it slow and make your observations very important because that's what scientists do. Um, and also be careful with the ruler that you don't notice. I didn't have to uh, pluck the ruler that hard because um, you don't want to break the ruler. So all good. Let's go ahead and look at our station two, which is also a lot of fun. You should have your station two card, which is the salt drum. And basically you're going to just take a, a cup, a beaker and some plastic wrap which I have here, got a beaker, put some plastic wrap on it and rubber band, stretched it really tight um, for this. Check, 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 check. I already, if you're talking to it, you could already kind of notice something. Very cool. Interesting. I didn't even start yet. See, science is awesome. So you're going to have the salt drum here, cover the top just like it says here, and then we're going to sprinkle a pinch of salt about a quarter ta uh, tablespoon on the top of the plastic wrap. <laughs> plastic wrap. Each student will take a turn talking very softly right above the drum and then doing a louder voice. And then obviously you're going to um, record your observations. So think about this one. Um, you want to change the pitch higher low of your voice, but also change the volume. So if you change the pitch, how will that differ than if you change the volume of your voice? And then you want to uh, write down your observations. So I'm going to switch on over to my awesome camera. So we can take a look at that. There's our salt drum. <laughs> Get it over here so you can really see. I'm going to close in a little bit tighter. You can really see that. There we go. Very cool. So I'm going to get a little bit of salt. Get some salt on here. Put 
Awesome. You should be able to see the salt, which is very cool. So I'm just going to do um, doing a soft voice first, and then I'll do loud. So I'll do soft and loud for our volume first. So I'm just going to get up close to the edge of my salt drum here and just kind of talk, um, make sound, and see what kind of change. What do you think will happen with the salt if I talk near the edge of the drum? Like I said, I'm going to talk softly first, and then I'm going to go loud. So I'm going to change my volume. What do you think is going to happen when I change my volume? Let's try it. Hello, everybody. Can you see anything happening? I'm not really seeing anything happening right now. Maybe a little bit. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, I see a little bit happening. Not too much, but a little bit. So that was just talking softly. So write down your observations. Remember, I'm talking. I'm I'm thinking of volume here, so soft. Now I'm going to talk a little bit louder. What do you think is going to happen? So I'm going to increase the intensity of my voice. Hello, fourth grade students. Welcome to science, 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 science. Hello. Hi. Well, and notice I'm not breathing. I'm just talking. I'm not um, blowing any air out, really. Just talking um, over the drum. I'll do that one more time. Hello, scientists. So what did you hear? Or, well, you heard me, but what do you see happening? Why is that happening? Why is the salt reacting that way? Very interesting. Now I'm going to change the pitch. So this will be difficult because I want to make sure I keep my volume the same, but I'm going to change the pitch, the highness and lowness of my voice. So I'm going to do kind of a high squeaky voice. I'm going to try anyway. Might not work too well. Might be kind of funny. If you need a good laugh, this is the time. And then I'm going to do a low voice after that. What do you think will happen? You think the higher pitch will make a change? Or do you think the lower pitch will make a change? Let's try it out. So I'm going to start with a high pitch voice. Hello, students. How are you doing, everybody? That was pretty annoying, wasn't it? Very cool. Did you see anything happen with the high pitch voice? So write down those observations with the motion and, and how that related to the sound. So that was a high pitch. Now I'm going to do a low pitch, trying to keep the volume the same though. So I'm not going to really change the volume. I'm just going to change the pitch of my voice. So I'm trying to stay at the same volume. So here goes a low pitch. So I'm going to make my voice very low. Hello, students. This is Mr. Hyde coming to you and doing some science. Ah, ah, ah. Did you notice anything with the low pitch voice? How did that compare to the high pitch voice? Make sure you write accurate observations and don't put any inferences what you know your opinions and things make sure you actually write what happened what you actually saw um, those are the types of observations we want to make because um, that's evidence so if we were making this into a full experiment we would want actual um, observations and evidence so cool that's the salt drum a lot of fun and notice not not a huge amount of materials uh, for these two stations so hopefully you're able to try those out and hopefully this will help you maybe you did the stations and come back to this and um, kind of help you understand that a little bit better but this was station one and two and i'm on the moon i shouldn't be on the moon there's nothing to eat or drink there's no uh, starbucks or anything um, even like a, a subway would be nice, but there's nothing here. Um, and remember, I had that question, could you hear sound on the moon? If I did these things on the moon with a ruler snap, the drum, would anything even happen? Would you be able to hear anything? So come on back for station three and four and have a good one. This is Mr. Heitur.
favorite scientists. See you later, everybody.